morning. Good morning. All right, so let me just open up the chat bar. Hi, Laura. Hi, Nicole. So it's not just me this morning. I'm going to let everyone just populate in the room. And then we'll go ahead and get started. So wherever you are, just find the place where you're going to practice this morning. Roll your mat out. Find a folded blanket or good morning, Laura. Thank you. Yes, totally family yoga. Are they going to sing for you? I don't know. Are they going to sing for me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, I guess. Morning, Jim. Okay, so obviously a yoga mat would be ideal. Um, also awesome if you have blocks or something you can use as blocks. So if you don't have yoga blocks, then if you can find something that's of similar sized height, something that will help you come out of your back body for your practice. We have a really great dining room light there. That's awesome to smash your head on every now and again. So most of you know that we're moving this week. So it's a little bit of a mess in here. Yeah, Laura, they're awake by request by their mom. That's why they're awake. Um, all right, so if you have a yoga, if you have a towel, that would be fantastic. Um, a small blanket, something that you can roll up to place underneath your sits bones to take the pressure out of your lower back when we're in sitting positions. But you can also use uh, a blanket for underneath your knees, anything that helps you. Good morning, Karen. Anything that helps you uh, feel supported in your practice. As always, I'm not going to be playing music. Feel free to do that. Thank you, Karen. I'm gonna put my hair up. So any requests for the practice today, feel free to put it in there. Thank you, Jen. How self-serving is it? I announce that I'm having my birthday and then I invite you all to a yoga class. <laughs> so then you all have to say happy birthday to me. So if you're joining us live, welcome. And if you're joining us later, we love you just as much. Please find a place where you can stay comfortable. Start off on your back. If you're in Ontario, it is kind of snowing outside in the middle of May. So even start with a pair of socks on or cover yourself with a blanket if that feels better. Lie back, tuck your shoulder blades slightly under your back body. Let your feet fall out to the side. Slight tuck of your chin. If your lower back feels a bit stressed, you can bend your knees, place your feet wide on the sides of your yoga mat and just let your knees rest in together. couple more minutes before we start. So if you need a glass of water or something to support your practice, please make sure you have it. All right. So I love Saturdays for strength. So if nobody has any 
requests, then you know that I'm going to incorporate some strength in our practice today to remind you how strong you are and who you are. I want you to adapt the practice to you. It's wonderful when we're in a yoga class and we are online because we get to do it from the comfort of our home. But of course, we don't get to truly connect with each other and I don't get the opportunity to offer personalized recommendations or things like that. So if you have questions about that, uh, feel free to reach out to me after class or in the chat bar or any time like that, we'll connect and I'll give you some support, some support around that. But during the practice, make sure you're listening to your own cues. And although I'm jabbering away in the background and do my best to give modifications, it is up to you to listen to what's going on in your own body and make sure that you're listening to it. Good morning, Mary. So we're starting off on our back, in whatever position is comfortable for you, knees bent, knocking in, or lying with your legs straight out in Shavasana. Closing your eyes, taking some deep, deep breaths. I have no guarantees about what today's practice is going to be like <clears throat> with four boys and a dog. One, one is an adult male, maybe two of them. So we'll see how it goes today. Yoga is meant to be fun. Have some lightness about ourselves. Enjoy ourselves, laugh at ourselves, fall over, stand back up. Have fun in the journey, getting to know ourselves better. It's all important. Good morning, Diane. So start on your back in whatever position is most comfortable for you. Light a candle, light some incense, put some essential oils in the background, maybe play some music. Meet yourself where you are. Allow yourself to have any level of intensity in your practice, having just a moment to check in with where you're at. Ask yourself what you need. What's the yoga practice that's gonna serve you best today? I am tight today. So I'm gonna do my best to give us a big juicy warm up especially through the hips and the pelvis. Open up my back body and your back body. So listen to what is important to you as we go about our practice today. Good morning, Dawn. Good morning, Amy. Welcome to your practice, Saturday morning practice. Please start off in some sort of lying position, whether your knees are bent, relaxing your knees in together, <clears throat> or lying in Shavasana. Take as many breaks as you feel like today. Visit child's pose as much as it feels comfortable and modify and also intensify as you like. Flip your dog, do full chaturanga, three-legged dog, whatever you want to do. Thank you, Dawn. That's so kind. It's also my dad's birthday today. 81 years old. Grandpa, Grandpa yeah. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Just another encouragement if you're just joining me that if you have any questions or you have anything that keeps coming up in your yoga practice, things that are bothering you or roadblocks that you're hitting with your practice, feel free to reach out to me, message me, whatever. So yoga blocks would be great or something like a yoga block. Maybe even a small blanket underneath your knees. <clears throat> All right, go ahead and start in your back body. Closing your eyes if you haven't already. <clears throat> we 
Maybe taking a bend in your elbows and resting your palms on your belly. Gentle tuck of the chin, leading out through the crown, relaxing your feet, letting them fall out to the sides. And just notice where you're at. Notice your breathing. Notice how far your lower back comes off the ground. Feel how grounded you are. And over the next couple of breaths, start to deepen your breaths, breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. Start to move your breath farther down your belly and feel the space underneath your palms. Three more breaths. And when you're ready, <clears throat> bring the inside of your legs together. Press out through your toes towards the front of your mat. Interlace your hands, flip your palms, and reach your hands over your head. Press out through your palms. Let your ribs lift off the ground. Inhaling deep and exhale, let it all go. One more deep breath in, press your seam to your legs together, press out through your toe pads, reaching out over your head, lift your back body off the ground, deep breath in, and exhale through your mouth. Draw one knee into your chest, followed by the other. Wrap your arms around your shins, keeping your back body on the ground to start to rock, rock and roll from side to side. Breathe deeply into the space between your knees. And open your eyes when you're ready. Draw one knee into your chest on the right and lengthen your left leg out towards the front of your mat. Flex both your feet. Draw your right knee in. And then exhale, let your right knee come across your body, rest it on the left side of your body, on the left side of the ground. Reach your right arm out to the side and either look to the sky or follow your gaze over your right shoulder. Feel the stretch all the way down the right side body. Breathing deep in the rib spaces on the right. Rolling back onto your back, bring your right knee into your chest. Slight bend in your left leg, place the sole of your foot on the ground and then reach your right heel towards the sky. Lengthening your leg up. If your leg feels particularly tight, you can wrap a strap around your foot or you can bend your knee deeply and just take your hands, interlace them behind your thighs and start to draw your toes on your right foot towards your face. Keep your shoulders on the ground, relax your head and neck. And while your foot is coming towards your face, go back and forth between pointing your toes and flexing your feet, opening up the space down the back of the calf, waking up your ankle, back and forth. Take a pause and then start to draw circles with your foot in one direction and then the other. Walk your hands a little higher up your back of your leg and then draw your body face towards your shin. Bend your elbows and draw your, head, uh, draw your leg towards your face just a little more. Option to lengthen your left leg or hover it off the ground. Inhale, reach your body up a little higher. Exhale, release it all back down to the ground and bend your right knee. If your left leg straight, bend your left leg and then take your right ankle, ankle and place it on top of your left thigh. 
for figure four. Option to gently press your right knee away or reach through and hold the, the back of your left thigh. Draw your left knee into your chest and gently press your right knee away from you. Flex both of your feet. Keep it nice and broad between your collarbones. Rest your head and neck back on the ground. Draw your left knee in a little closer. See if you can keep your back body on the ground, tailbone lengthening towards the front of your mat. One more deep breath in, deep exhale, draw your left knee in just a bit closer. Release your left foot to the mat, take your right foot back, and then inhale, draw your left knee into your chest. Lengthen your heel towards the sky. And take a hold behind your left thigh, drawing your left toes towards your face. Bend your knee deeply. No stress and strain, just a gentle stretch down the back of the leg. Start to point your toes and then flex your toes back and forth. Wake up your ankle, feel the muscles of your calf. Few more rounds and then start to draw circles in one direction, followed by the other. Draw your left foot a little closer to your face. Walk your hands up to the back of your calf and reach your face towards your knee. Bend your elbows, an option to lengthen and hover your right foot off the ground. Draw your face a little closer. No stress and strain in your neck. Deep breath in. Exhale fully. And then release your shoulders and your neck back to the ground. Bend your right knee and place your left ankle over top of your right thigh. Either press your left knee away with your left hand or reach through, taking hold of the back of your right thigh and draw your right knee in closer. Flex both your feet. Relax your shoulders, your neck, your jaw. Feel the stretch all the way down the outer left thigh into the left glute. Inhale, exhale, draw your right knee in a little closer. Close your eyes. Release your right foot to the mat. Unwind your legs. Lengthen your right foot straight to the mat. Bend your left knee in and allow your left knee to come across your body, resting on the right side. Stretch your left arm out to the left and take a peek over your left shoulder. Breathe deeply all the way into the left rib cage. Release the stretch, bring both your knees back into your chest. Squeeze your knees in, lengthening your tailbone towards the front of the mat. And in your own time, roll onto your side. And walk yourself all the way back up into tabletop position. Wrists right underneath your shoulders, knees directly under your hips. Spread every one of your fingers out, making sure each one of your knuckles is in contact with the ground, tops your feet pressing firmly into your mat. Inhale, release your pelvis to the ground. Look forward, broaden through the collarbone, inhaling deeply. Exhale, press into your hands, belly button to spine, chin to chest. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze, Exhale, press down, lift up, belly button to spine. Feel your shoulder blades opening, articulating through each one of your vertebrae, going back and forth at your own pace, cat and cow. Let it be dynamic. Bend your elbows. Move as quickly or as slowly as it feels comfortable in your body. Breathing deeply in and out through your nose. 
three more rounds back and forth. Pausing in neutral, take a peek over your right shoulder, look all the way back past your right hip, feeling the stretch all the way down the left side, coming back to neutral, looking all the way over your left shoulder. Coming back to neutral, taking a deep inhale in, inhale in, pressing out through your right hand, right hand forward, palm in, thumb up, and then stretch your left leg back, bringing your, flexing your left foot, foot to hip height. Look down to your hand. Keep pressing back, keep reaching forward. And exhale, bring your right elbow to your left knee, curling in. Inhale, lengthening out. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, reach out. Keep going for four. For three. For two. Last one, hold it in. Curl in, bring your knee a little closer in, and then reach out and hold. Thumb up, palm in, pressing back. Take your right hand, sweep it around, bend your left knee, take a hold of your ankle, your shin, or just reach it back if you're not able to. Kick your left foot into your right hand, pressing your foot away, broadening your chest, looking a foot or two in front of your hands for three, Keep going for two, for one, release it, reach forward, press back, and then release back down. Widen your knees and sit back into child's pose, reaching your tailbone all the way down towards your heels. All right, Bodhi, you're gonna have to move. <laughs> this is child's pose. You don't need me to cue this pose. This is something that you can come back to when you're ready when you've had enough, when you need a moment. It's a great way to release pressure into your lower back. If your knees are apart and your feet are together, your belly will rest in the space between your knees and you will feel the relaxation through your pelvis. Feel free to rock from side to side. If your hands are forward, it's a more dynamic posture, but if your shoulders become sore or tight, feel free to walk them back, flip your palms to the ceiling and rest your forehead to the ground. If you need more of a release between your, in the mid back area, just bring your knees together and your ankles together and rest down. Breathe deeply into your back body. And when you're ready, coming back up to tabletop position, making sure your knees are hip distance apart, inhaling your left arm forward, pressing back through your right foot, finding your stability, your hips are centered to your mat. Reaching forward, fingers apart, spreading the energy, thumb up, palm in. Pressing back through your heel. Exhale, left knee, to, left elbow to right knee. Inhale, press out. Reach forward, press back. Exhale, curl in. Keep going for four. For three. And two, last one in, curl in, raise your knee a little bit closer, and then reach out, press back through your right heel, reach out through your left hand, sweep your left hand around, bend your right knee, and hold onto your ankle or your shin, or reach back, kick your right foot into your left hand, broadening your collarbones to the front of your mat, kick a little harder, lift your leg back, for three, for two, for one, let it go. Press back through your heel, reach out through your hand, release your hands down, knee to the mat, and come back into child's pose for three breaths. Feel free to take a few letting go breaths, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth. Coming back up to tabletop. 
Setting up one more time, opening up your shoulders. This time, press down firmly into your left hand. Inhale, sweep your right arm up over top of your head. Pressing into your left hand, reaching up with your right fingertips. Spread your fingers. Exhale, sweep and bring your right hand right underneath your left. Hover it over the ground. Inhale, sweep up, reach up. Exhale, right hand under left, all the way through. Inhale, reach up. This time, bring your right hand through. Lay the back of your right hand on the mat, resting on your right temple. Option to come up on your left fingertips or extend your left hand up to the ceiling. Breathing deeply all the way into your side ribs. Opening up your shoulders, even letting your left hand Think back, opening up the front of your left shoulder. Two more breaths. Release your left hand to the mat. Press into your left hand, setting back up. This time, pressing into your right hand, inhaling and sweeping your left arm up. Reach up. Press into the front of your shins, press into your right hand. Reach up to your left hand, exhale, sweep it all the way under. Inhale, sweep up again, reach up, exhale all the way through. Oh my God, it's snowing. Inhale, <laughs> reach up like a lot. Exhale, come all the way through, back your hand to the mat, rest your left temple, come up onto your right fingertips, or bring your right arm directly from your shoulder right up towards the ceiling. It's not supposed to snow in May. <laughs> Exhale, release your hands straight down, back down, press back up. And coming into a modified plank position, this time I want you to go down onto your elbows, bring your hands like train tracks forward, and then measure the distance from side to side. So take your hand, measure them so that you know where your hand should go. So train tracks forward. If that's not comfortable for you because your forearms don't sit uh, firmly on the ground, you can bring your hands together. So they're coming together like this. Whatever's comfortable, press down and then step back with each one of your feet until you're in plank position. Making sure that your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. Pressing back through your heels, feet are hip distance apart. Drawing your belly button towards your spine, reaching out through the crown of your head. Your gaze should be somewhere between your forearms. Feel the shake, and if you need to, feel free to release your knees to the mat. Pressing back through the heels, engaging the front of your thighs, lifting your kneecaps, lengthening your tailbone to the ground, and feeling a slight dome through your shoulder blades. Three more breaths. Breathing deeply, you can do it, two, I know those are long breaths, and one more, release your knees to the mat, and then release your belly all the way down and come all the way down onto your belly. Rest your palms underneath your forehead, let your feet go. Placing your hands beside your face, Make sure your feet are hip distance apart. The soles of the tops of your feet are rooted firmly into the ground. Coming into, uh, coming into cobra, <laughs> cobra, inhale, exhale, press into your feet, press into your hands, and lift your body. Slide your shoulder blades down your back. Broaden into your collarbones, no crunching in the lower back. Using the strength of your back body to lift. Two more breaths. One more breath, exhale all the way down, press down into your hands, tuck your toes, come through tabletop, this time lifting your hips upwards and back to downward facing dog. Walking your dog, lengthening one leg, then the other, making sure your feet are hip distance apart, taking a peek forward, hands are at least shoulder distance apart. The creases of your wrist parallel with the front edge of your mat, all, every one of your knuckles making contact with the ground. Rest your head between your biceps and bend your knees so that your pelvis and your sitting bones is lifting straight towards the sky. 
Breathe in deeply. And feel free to release your knees to the mat at any point. Take a deep breath in, starting to tip forward onto your toes, coming into plank, waving all the way forward, coming into plank, pressing back through your heels, option to release your knees to the mat, reaching out to the crown, press firmly into your hands, engage, engage your abdomen, belly butt drawing towards spine, no sinking in your pelvis, feel the shake for three, two, one, exhale, lift your hips back to down facing dog. Bend your knees, bring your chest all the way towards your knees, pressing firmly with your hand, and then inhale, come all the way forward back into plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Back and forth. Inhale, waving forward. Exhale, tipping back. Three more times at your own pace. Make it be deliberate. Feel the wave all the way forward. Coming onto your tippy toes as you come forward. Bending your knees as you come back. Last one. Press back into your downward facing dog. Take a look forward and gently walk your feet towards your hands all the way to the front of your mat. Be hip distance apart, releasing the crown of your head in a forward fold. Bend your knees. And feel free to use your blocks on either side if that feels more comfortable. Breathe deeply into your back body. And gently walk your hands up your legs, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Head is the last to rise. Once you get up, inhale your arms to the side or straight forward, come all the way up, palms together. Exhale, hands to heart center. Press your hands together, broaden through the collarbones, close your eyes. This is your mountain pose. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart. You feel all four corners of your feet making, making contact with the ground. Lifting up through the inner arches. Contracting the front of your thighs, lifting your kneecaps. Lengthening your tailbone to the ground, crown to the ceiling. Set an intention for your practice today. Open your eyes, release your hands, reach up, look up, exhale, forward fold, bend your knees all the way down. Inhale to halfway lift, hands to your shins or to blocks. Bend your knees so you're one long line from your crown all the way to your tailbone. Exhale to fold. Inhale, reach up, stand up. Bring your arms all the way up, palms together, exhale, all the way back down, forward fold. Wave to halfway lift, exhale to fold. Inhale all the way back up, let it flow. Hands together, exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, inhale to halfway lift. This time, both your hands on either side of your feet, step Back with your right foot, release your right knee to the mat, untuck your toes. Inhale, take your hands to the top of your left thigh. Let your hips come forward, parallel to the front edge of your mat. And make sure your left knee is tracking forward with your left toes. Lift up to your crown. If you feel any compression in your lower back, lift up your pelvis. Feeling the stretch all the way down through the right thigh. And your next inhale, inhale both arms up, lift up to your fingertips. Press down into your right shin, press into your left foot, lift up out of your pelvis. Relax your shoulder blades. Exhale, bring your right hand down inside your left foot and inhale your left arm up. Rotating to the left, stacking your shoulders one on top of the other. Option to look to the side or all the way up to your left hand. Reach up, 
Exhale, bring your left hand down, coming into lizard, walk your left foot out to the outside edge of the mat and bring your left hand inside your left foot. So your left shoulder is contacting the inner left knee and releasing either down into your hands or if you have the space, coming down onto blocks with your forearms or all the way down to the ground. Whatever you do with the right hand, do with the left hand. Maintaining the contact between your shoulder and the inner left knee. Rocking from side to side if that's what's comfortable. And meeting your body where you're at. So if being down on your forearms is too much, then come back up to your hands. Keeping your head in alignment with your neck. Two more breaths. Pressing back up into your hands, walk your left foot in, bring your left hand on the outside. Tuck your back toes, press into your hands and step back to plank position. Release your knees to the mat, untuck, and come all the way down in one long line. Coming into cobra, inhale, press down, lift up. Wave up, exhale, all the way back down. Press back to your tabletop, coming to downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up and back. Exhale, bring your right foot through to your right hand. If it doesn't come all the way through, pick it up and just bring it up to the front. Release your left knee to the mat, untuck your toes, inhale, coming up onto your thigh. Broadening through the collarbone, sinking your pelvis towards the mat, no crunching into your lower back. Your next inhale, inhale your arms up. Press down, reach up. Relax your shoulders, go as wide as you want with your hands. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bring your left hand in, in, in the middle of your mat, in the inside of your right foot, and inhale your right arm up and over top. Rotating to the right. Breathing deep into your side body. Reaching up. Exhale, bring your right hand down. Walk your right foot to the outside of your mat. Lift it on the other side. Bring your right hand inside your right foot. Feeling the contact between your inner right knee and the outside of your right shoulder. Staying up on your hands, sinking forward. or coming all the way down onto your forearms. Releasing from side to side. Opening up through the pelvis. Two more breaths. Coming back up into your hands, walk your right foot in, pressing down on either side. This time, tuck your left toes, spring forward to the front of your mat into a halfway lift, bend your knees, exhale to fold. Inhale, sweep up, arms up, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold. This time, step back with both your feet to plank. Option to bend your knees, going down through tabletop in one long line, rather. Back up into cobra, and then meeting in downward facing dog. We're tipping forward, coming into chaturanga, releasing halfway down. Flipping your feet and inhaling to upward facing dog. Press down with your hands, lift through your crown. Exhale, folding your hips back, coming back into downward facing dog. Breathing deep. Inhale your right leg up and back. Exhale, bring your right foot through to your right hand. Making sure your feet are on train tracks, coming into high lunge. Inhale, raise your upper body, hands to hips. Broadening through your collarbone, making sure that your left heel is stacking directly over your left toes. Straightening your left leg, bending into your right knee, tracking forward to your toes, stacking your shoulders over your hips. When you're ready, inhaling your arms up. Reach up. Exhale, right hand goes in the back of the left thigh, exalting your warrior, leaning back any amount, reaching up with your left hand. 
three breaths, pressing down, lifting up. Releasing, inhaling your right arm up, exhaling, bringing your hands to heart center, tipping forward and placing your left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Pressing into your knee, telescoping your body open to the right. Palms coming towards chest. Pressing firmly into your left toes. Opening to the right. Lifting up out of your chest, staying off your knee. Inhale, back to heart center. Exhale, hands down on the other side. Stepping back to plank and coming to your vinyasa. Exhaling down. Inhaling into your back bend. Exhaling downward facing dog. Finding your flow, whatever suits you. We're skipping the flow altogether and just meeting in downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg up and back. Exhale, left foot through the left hand. Coming into high lunge. Inhale, hands on your hips. Rise up. If you felt wobbly on the other side, making sure that your feet are on train tracks. Okay, pressing back in the heel, but lifting your right heel so it's stacking directly over your right toe pad. Inhale your arms up, reach up. Bending into your left knee, containing your ribs, making sure they're not jutting forward, but they're holding in. Reach up. Exalt your warrior, left hand to the back of your right thigh. Reach up with your right hand. Look up any amount. Inhale your left arm up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Tipping forward, right elbow on the outside of your left thigh. Press into your hand. Revolve open to the left. Use the leverage of your right elbow on the outside of your knee to twist open even more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Step back to plank through your vinyasa. Hi, Bodhi. Exhale, meeting back and downward facing the dog. Three breaths. Feel free to take a letting go breath out through your mouth. Stepping your feet back nice and wide. Take half a step forward. Take your feet to the outside of your mat. Shorten your downward facing dog. Bend your knees any amount. Pressing back with your hands, lifting your hips. Inhale your right hand through to the outside, anywhere on your left leg. So hold on the outer calf, outer ankle. Press back with your left hand. Rise up to your sitting bone. Center your body, your shoulders to the front of your mat. Feel the twist. Look between your feet, rest your head. Bend your knees any amount. Release your right hand, bring it back to the mat, set up. Inhale, and then exhale, bring your left hand through to the outside of your right leg. Pressing back equally through both your feet. Feel free to bend your knees. Two more breaths. Releasing your left hand, step your feet back into downward facing dog. Inhale into plank. Exhale, going into right side plank. Two options, three options actually. Coming onto the right hand side, you can stagger your feet. You can step your left foot forward halfway up your mat and press into your left foot and the outer edge of your right foot and reach up. Or you can stack your feet, whatever's, whatever's comfortable. Lift your hips. Making sure that your left shoulder is directly over to your right. Two more breaths. You got it. Coming back to plank. 
Side plank on the other side. Take your side plank option, whatever is best to you. Make sure you know where your head is in space. All of the knuckles of your left hand pressing firmly into the ground. Press down, lift up. Fall over, get back up. It's all good. Two more breaths. Right hand back down, coming back into plank. Release your knees to the mat and sitting back into child's pose. Walking your hands back up. Coming back into a malasana. So as you tuck your toes, coming back onto your tippy toes. Toes in, heels, or sorry, toes out, heels together. Walking your feet in. Reaching up through the crown. Let your knees go wide. Looking forward two or three feet in front of you. Seeing if you can balance. Broadening through your collarbone, press your hands together, lift up through the crown. It's a lot of work for your ankles. And for a lot of us, we have lost a lot of the mobility and strength around our ankles. So do what you can do. Two more breaths. This is how you strengthen your feet and your ankles and you maintain your mobility. Releasing your hands back down. Taking your feet nice and wide and seeing if you can come into a full squat or malasana. If your heels can go down, take your knees nice and wide. Elbows inside both sides. And if you can't come all the way down to your heels, that's okay. You can be up on your toes or you can use a block to sit on. Either way, whatever's comfortable for you, go nice and wide. Place your right hand firmly down. Inhale your left arm up. Leverage your right elbow against your knee. Keep your knees wide. Inhale and reach up with your left hand. Option to take a bind. Bring your left hand all the way back around. Curve your right hand underneath your knee and reach forward. Open up to the left hand side. Option to look up. Open your collarbones to the sky. Release the bind. Exhale, bring your left hand down. Press down, lift up. Firmly press into your left hand. Inhale your right arm and up. Option to take the bind on the other side. Bring your right arm back and around. Sweep your left hand around your left knee. Bind your hands and open to the side. Option to look up. Releasing the bind, bring your arm back up. Exhale, all the way back down. Coming into crow position. So bringing, coming up onto your toes, bringing your hands out in front of you, placing your hands like you're going in downward facing dog. So looking forward, and if you're more comfortable doing this, you can place a blanket in front of your face. Most times you will catch yourself, but if you're more comfortable that way. Lift your hips up nice and tall. Bring your knees inside your armpits or on the outside of the back of your triceps. Lean forward, look up. Maybe you bring one foot up, maybe you bring the other. Reach up through your back body. If you come out of it, release back down. <laughs> Uh, one more time. Let's try it one more time. Arm balances are one of those things where they seem so frustrating and you're sending the message to the body where you think you should be lifting and engaging and sometimes nothing happens and then one day something just floats up. So it's such a good thing to practice. The thing about crow is if you look down, you will go down. So it's really important that you look forward and you press with your hands and you arch up, engaging all the way to the abdomen pulling yourself up, okay? So let's try it one more time. Take your hands nice and wide, every one of your knuckles making contact with your mat, 
press into your toes, lift your hips up, lift your hips up, tipping forward, bringing your, your knees inside the back of your triceps, looking forward, and just try. Maybe one foot, whoops, <laughs> maybe the other. I don't want any dental surgery on my birthday. <laughs> and some days it's easy and some days it's not. Release it back down, walking your hands forward, pressing your feet back to down facing dog. Walking your dog, shaking it off. Looking forward, walking to the front of your mat. Sorry, body, this is not gonna work. <laughs> Inhaling to halfway lift, exhaling to full. Option to take hold of opposite elbows. Rest your head between your biceps. Bend your knees, lifting your tailbone to the sky. No wrinkles on the back of your neck. Take all the pressure out of your head. Releasing your hands, inhaling to stand. Arms all the way up, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Coming into dancer's pose, releasing your hands down, stepping firmly into your left foot. Inhale your left arm up, bend your right knee, reach back with your right hand, take a hold of the outside of your right ankle. Press into your left foot, inhale, reach up to your crown, and then tip forward, kicking your right foot into your right hand. Kicking, opening up. Tipping forward a little bit. Broadening through the chest, looking four or five feet forward. Hips are parallel to your mat. Kick a little harder, lift a little more. For three, keep going. For two, for one. And release, come all the way back down. Bend your knees, lift up, look up. Exhale the hands to heart center. Release your hands, pressing firmly into your right foot. Inhale your right arm up. Finding the strength of your right side, bend your left knee, reach hold of the outside of your left foot. Inhale, exhale, kick your left foot into your hand, tipping forward, keeping your hips parallel to your mat, reaching out to your right hand, kicking back to your left leg. Finding your drishti, Finding that place that's not moving. Kick a little harder, lift a little more. For three, you got this. Two, and one. Release coming all the way back. Release your left leg down. Inhale up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold, place your hands on either side. Step back to plank and come to your vinyasa. Meeting a downward facing dog. Make it a good downward facing dog. Press firmly into your hands. Maybe take a peek forward, making sure your hands are symmetrical. Spin your upper biceps towards the sky. Release your head between your biceps. Bend your knees enough to lift your pelvis to the sky. When you're ready, inhale your right leg up and back. Stack your right hip on top of your left. Bend your right knee. Lift your right knee to the sky. Press back with your body. Left heel coming towards the ground. Right knee coming towards the sky. Lift a little higher. Inhale your right leg straight. Exhale, bring your right foot through to your right hand. Spin your back leg down on a 90 degree angle coming into warrior two. So right heel in contact, in alignment rather, with your right arch. Inhale, sweep your left arm up, over and back, bending into your right knee. Right arm forward, left arm back. Opening your hips to the left side of your mat. Relax your shoulders. Option to keep your hands on either one of your hips or bring them out to the side. Reverse your warrior. 
Exhale, flip your right palm, reach back with your right palm, reach back, bend into your right knee. Inhale to warrior two. Exhale to side angle, coming in, right elbow to right knee. Inhale your left arm up and over. Option to bring your right hand all the way down to a block of the ground. Reaching forward with your left hand. Feeling the outside edge of your left leg, your left foot. Bending into your right knee. Option to look forward or up towards the sky. Two more breaths. Inhale, back to warrior two. Straighten your right leg. Hinging forward, reaching forward with your right hand. Go as far as you can go, then release your right hand down to your shin, the foot, the block. Press down with your right hand, lift up with your left. Spin your gaze up. Inhale, bend your right knee, come back to warrior two. Looking forward, coming into Ardha Chandrasa, or half moon pose. So step your left foot in, look where you're going, possibly grabbing your block as you go. If you grab your block, you're gonna come forward a foot or two in front, release the block directly underneath your right shoulder, open your hips to the side. Press down into your right foot, lift your left foot, hip height, option to bring your left arm up. Stacking your hips, pressing firmly to your left heel, flex your left foot. If you fall out, that's okay. One more breath. Release your gaze down to your right hand, bend your right knee, step back into warrior two. Exhale, spin your hands down, step back to plank or skip your flow and meet us in downward facing dog. Saturdays are for strength. So don't give me attitude. <laughs> when you're ready, inhale your left leg up and back. Stack your left hip on top of your right. Bend your left knee. Square your arms to the front of the mat. Press back with your hands. Feel your right ankle coming towards the ground. Lift your left knee to the sky. Breathing deep. Lift your knee a little higher. Inhale your left leg straight. Exhale, bring your left foot through to your left hand. Warrior two. Inhale your arms up. Option to skip your arms and just take them to your hips, but open them to the side. Bend into your left knee. Straighten your right. Relax your shoulders. Take a peek down at your left knee and make sure it's not falling in, but it's tracking forward with your left toes. <laughs> Go a little deeper. Reverse your warrior. Flip your left palm, reach back with your left hand, bend into your left knee. Reach up, look up. Inhale to warrior two. Exhale to side angle. So bring your left elbow to your left knee or reach down to a block or the ground and inhale your right arm up and over top of your head. Press into the outside edge of your right foot, reaching forward with your right hand. Inhale back to warrior two. Straighten your left leg, hinging forward, reaching forward with your left arm, releasing your left hand to your shin, your thigh, or to the ground for a block. Reach up with your right hand in triangle. Spin your body open to the right hand side. Option to look straight ahead or up towards your right hand. Lengthening both sides of your body, not collapsing into your left rib cage. Bend your left knee, inhale back to warrior two. And starting to prepare for Ardha Chandrasana going into half moon pose. Walk your left foot in a bit, your right foot in a bit. 
If you're gonna use a block on this side, reach forward with your block, place it in alignment with your left foot, a foot or two in front of your left foot, press into your left foot, raise your right leg, flex your right foot, open your hips to the right side. Stacking your right hip on top of the left, right hand towards the sky. No two sides feel the same, <laughs> and no two days feel the same. Finding yours. One more breath or not, and when you're ready, bend your left knee, step back into warrior two. When wheel your arms down on either side of your left foot, step back to plank and come through your vinyasa. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, come all the way back into child's pose. Breathe deeply into your back body. Close your eyes. Coming back into downward facing dog, pressing back, lifting up, looking forward, step or jump to the front of your mat, lifting to halfway lift, exhale to fold, rising up, inhale, reach up, look up, exhale, hands to heart center. Releasing your hands, taking a big step back with your left foot into a wide angle, forward fold on the outside edge of your mat. So making sure that your feet are in the same line, toes are in the same line with your heels, bringing your hands to, to hip height, placing your hands behind you, spin your elbows behind you, broadening through the collarbone, lifting up to the crown, exhale, hinging at the hips, micro bending your knees, reaching all the way forward, getting halfway down, releasing your hands right in front of you, and then releasing and walking your hands underneath you, drawing your crown to the mat. Finding the center of your feet, bending your elbows. How's it going, Papa? <laughs> really pretty hard. <laughs> if you're a hyperextender and you feel like your knees go backwards, then take a micro bend. Otherwise, both your legs are straight. Releasing your crown to the mat, tailbone lifting to the sky. Inhaling, walking your hands underneath your face, planting your left hand directly underneath your face, inhaling your right arm, sweeping it up to the side. So press into your left hand, reach up with your right hand. If that's too much, option to bring your right hand to the back of your outside of your right hip. Otherwise, stacking your shoulders, reaching forward through your crown and still pressing back through your tailbone, your sitting bones. One more deep breath in, reaching up, exhaling, bringing your right hand underneath your left, coming all the way over and taking hold of the outside of your left shin, walking your left hand forward as far as you can go. So same move that we did in extended down dog, reaching forward with your left hand, pressing back to your tailbone, Centering your shoulders to the front to the outside edge of your mat. Deep breath in. Feel the opening all the way through your rib, rib cage. Releasing your right hand back, walking your hands underneath your face, pressing into your right hand, inhaling your left arm up and over top of your head. So finding the effort and the ease. If it's too much for your left shoulder, bending your left elbow and just allowing your left hand to rest on the back of your sacrum. Otherwise, reach up. Reaching forward with your crown. Exhaling, bringing your left hand through underneath your right. Reaching over, taking a hold of some aspect of your right calf or your ankle. Walking your right hand forward as far as you can go, palm on the earth. 
pressing into your right hand, reaching your tailbone back, breathing deeply into your back body. <laughs> One more deep breath in. Releasing your left hand, walking both your hands to halfway lift. Walking your feet in just a little bit, inhaling your hands to your hips, and rising all the way up. If this is what happens when you, when you come up, you instantaneously start to get lightheaded, contract your thighs. Tighten your thighs as hard as you can, and almost always it'll go away. Bend into your right leg, spring forward to the front of your mat. Inhale your arms up, exhale the heart center, releasing all the way down, coming all the way back to sitting on your mat. Releasing all the way back onto your back. Drawing both your knees into your chest, wrapping your arms around the front of your, shot, your shins and just letting your hips rock from side to side. Holding your right knee in, extend your left leg straight out, flex both your feet. So going into a bit of an abdominal engagement, hovering your left heel off the ground if that's what feels comfortable. Option to rise your upper body up, engage your abdomen. So bringing your chest and your chin towards your right knee and then switching, pressing out through your right heel, bringing your left knee in. Lower body or upper body stays still. Option, keep going and switch. And keep going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring both your knees in and then release your body all the way back. Take your feet nice and wide, outside edges of your mat. Let your knees relax and close your eyes. We're gonna do two rounds of bridge pose. So you have a couple options. If wheel is in your practice, by all means, feel free to go into wheel. I'm not gonna cue it during the practice because it feels like something that we should do if I'm in person with you. But if you're adept and you know how to do wheel and it feels comfortable for you, feel free to take wheel as your option. If you are done, like D-O-N-E right now, and you have something that you'd like to place under your pelvis, if you have a block or a couple books, you can go into restorative bridge. Regardless of whatever position you do, you're gonna bring your feet close to your sitting bones, knees hip distance apart, and if you're going to go into restorative, you're going to press into your feet, lift your hips, and place the block lengthways across your sacrum and release your pelvis down. Open your arms and relax down. Feel free to stay there, keeping your gaze towards the ceiling. Otherwise, we're going to come into bridge, setting up the same way. Feet are hip distance apart. Place your hands on either side of your body, palms down. Inhale, exhale, press into your feet, lift your hips. Option to interlace your hands underneath your body, tipping onto one shoulder, tucking your shoulder blade in, then the other. Press into your feet, lift your hips up. Feel the strength of your legs. Knees are tracking forward in line with your feet. Press down, lift a little higher. Feel your chest start to telescope towards your chin. Breathing deeply into your belly, lift a little higher. Feel the strength of your legs. Release your hands, exhale, roll down one vertebrae at a time. If you're in restorative, you can stay there. Take your feet nice and wide, let your knees knock in for just a moment. If you're going into another version of bridge, resist the urge to bring your knees all the way into your chest right now. Rest your palms on your belly. One more set, option to take restorative, stay where you are, or set up for one more bridge. So taking your feet back, hip distance, place your hands down, inhale, press into your feet, lift your hips, 
One more time. Interlace your hands, tipping one shoulder under then the other, pressing into the outside edge of your arms, pressing into your feet, lift your hips up. Keep your gaze in the center. Breathing deeply into your belly. Watch your belly rise and fall. Press down, lift a little higher. Feel the strength and engagement of your legs. One more deep breath in. This is where you get the strength of your pelvis. Really important for lower back functioning. Releasing your hands, releasing down one vertebrae at a time. Feet wide, knees together, palms on your belly, close your eyes. Amazing. When you're ready, walk your feet back in. Inhale both your knees into your chest. Bring your knees right across to your armpits, nice and wide. Wrap your arms around or hold onto the front of your shins. Draw your knees in. Keep your lower back on the ground, lengthening your tailbone towards the front of your mat. Breathing deep in the space between your knees. Amazing job today. Releasing both your feet to the mat, take your right leg and bring it right across your left leg. So cross your legs and then inhale, bring both of your knees in towards your chest. So two options. First option is to just simply take both your hands around your crossed knees and draw them in. Or flex both your feet and reach forward with your hands. So take the foot that's right in front of you, left hand goes to the outside of your right foot on the pinky toe edge. Take a hold of each one and lift your heels up and separate your legs from side to side. Keep your shoulders on the mat. I'm going to turn so you can see. It's a deep stretch in the pelvis. So reaching across, you might have to bring your head up to take hold of your feet, but then release your head back to the mat. Walk your hands out, pull on your feet from side to side. And if you're doing that and you have no clue what's going on, just adapt the stretch to the best way that you know how. Breathe a little deeper. Deep stretch all the way through the back of your hips. Flex both your feet. One more deep breath in. Release your feet, bring both your feet down to the mat. Walk your hips in, your, your heels in. Bring your knees in and then release both your knees over to the left hand side, stacking your hips, stacking your knees one on top of the other. Bring your right arm out to the right, place your left hand on top of your stacked knees to the left. An option to either look to the ceiling or spin your gaze over to the right hand side. Find the balance between your legs going to the ground on the left and your right shoulder coming towards the mat. Opening the space all the way down from the right hip to the right shoulder. Close your eyes. Spin your gaze back to the ceiling. Inhale both your knees back up. Give it a quick squeeze in. Release both your feet to the mat. And this time take your left leg Cross it all the way over your right leg. And then bring both your knees towards your chest. So option to just interlace your hands on top of your shins, or if you have the space, take both your feet out, flex both your feet, raise your upper body, take hold of the outside of both your feet. Take your heels away from your body, take your feet nice and wide, release your shoulders and head back to the ground. Draw your feet out to the side and draw your knees in towards your chest. 
this side feels so different to me than the other side. Flex your feet. All sorts of versions going on in the other side of the room here. <laughs> Maybe this one's a little difficult for a video. <laughs> Relax your body. Release your feet. Bring both your knees into your chest. Stacking your knees, let them drop all the way to the right. Stack one knee on top of the other, and then stretch your left shoulder back to the mat. Extend your left hand out to the side, palm down. Rest your right hand on top of your right on top of your knees. And either look to the ceiling or spin your gaze to the left hand side. Find some space. Close your eyes. Breathe deeply all the way down the outside of the left rib cage. Bend your gaze back to the ceiling. Inhale both your knees back up. Squeeze both of your knees in. Bring your chin all the way to your knees. Squeeze in a little tighter. And then exhale, release your head and neck back to the ground. Option to take happy baby. Take both your hands in between your knees. Reach for the outer edge of your feet. Flex your feet. Bring your feet to nine, your knees to 90 degrees. Drawing your knees into your armpits, press your hands into your feet, your feet into your hands. Keeping your tailbone lengthening towards the front of your mat, releasing any tension through your shoulders. <laughs> Option to rock from side to side. So in a perfect world, your knees are at 90 degrees, your feet are at 90 degrees, your shoulders, your neck, your head are on the mat, and your tailbone is lengthening towards the front. Breathe deeply into the space of your belly. Releasing your feet, bringing your knees back into your chest, and then releasing your feet back down to the ground. So option if you have a block or books or anything that you place under your pelvis to go into the Parita Karani, which is legs up. One of the most restorative postures that you can do for your nervous system, very grounding and relaxing. The way that you'll do that is you will take the block underneath your pelvis on the wide angle so that it is supporting your sacrum. So you'll press into your feet, take the block, lengthwise on underneath your pelvis, release your pelvis back down, make sure it's comfortable, look to the ceiling, draw one knee up, then the other, and then press your heels towards the ceiling. If you don't have a block, you won't find that very comfortable, but you can go up against the wall and do it as well. And if you put your feet up and it's not comfortable, then just bring your feet back down, rearrange the block, and do it again. If you don't have a block, take this time to take whatever posture feels good to you. And when you're ready, lengthening your body out into Shavasana. If you have your legs up in the center of the room, Close your eyes. Option to stay with your legs up, or if you're done, you can press, bend your knees, place the soles of your feet on the ground, 
release the block. And when you're ready, coming into your version of Shavasana. Lengthen your feet out to either edge of your mat. Let your toes roll out. Gentle tuck of your shoulder blades underneath your back body. Palms to the sky. Lengthen your crown to the, to the front of your mat, back your mat. Release your breath. This morning, I'm going to read one of my favorite poems called The Mystery of She by Rebecca Campbell. One of the most lovely people I know sent this to me. It's a beautiful poem. The Mystery of She. Her heart was connected to the flowers. As they opened, so did she. Her voice was connected to the birds. As they sang, so did she. Her wisdom was connected to the trees. As they whispered, so did she. Her womb was connected to the moon. As it waxed and waned, so did she. Her attachments were connected to the tides. As they let go, so did she. Her passions were connected to the fire. As it was stoked, so was she. Her eyes were connected to the entire sky. As it saw clearly, so did she. Her emotions were connected to the rivers. As they flowed, so did she. Her spirit was connected to the stars. As they shone, so did she. Her soul was connected to the entire universe. As it expanded, so did she. option to stay in Srivasana for as long as you'd like. Otherwise, start to move your fingers and your toes. Pressing out through the balls of your feet, maybe even reaching your hands over your head. Pressing down, lifting up, keeping your eyes closed. When you're ready, bending your knees, bringing your knees in nice and close and rolling onto your right hand side, resting your head on your right arm. And when you're ready, press into your left hand Coming up, rise and keep your eyes closed and coming to sit in a cross-legged seated position. Resting your hands in your lap, finding your sitting bones, rising up through your crown. Placing the palm of your left hand over your heart center, placing your right palm over your left. Sitting up nice and tall. Breathing into the space underneath your palms. Feeling the essence of who you are. Noticing how you feel at the end of your practice. Appreciating the fact that you took this time for you. Releasing your hands on either side, raising your arms up, palms up, slowly gathering the energy as your arms come up, looking up, palms together, hands through heart center, 
bowing deeply. And from my heart to yours, no mistake. And now the sun's shining. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Oh, look at that cute little family sitting there. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Laura. Hi, Mike. Happy oh, my God. <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Louder for the people in the back. Happy birthday, dear Laura. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. You're so cute. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Karen and Karen. Have an amazing day, everybody. Thank you, Amy. Go out and find something really wonderful to do with the people you love. Go hug your neighbor. Have an amazing day. Thank you, Nancy.